welcome to our demonstration. Here we are showing the integration process between Tecla Structural Designer and Autodesk Revit. We will demonstrate the general transfer between the two software packages. To begin, here is our sample model within Tecla Structural Designer. As can be seen, it consists of a concrete flat slab, concrete beam and steel beam construction. To perform the export of the model from Tecla Structural Designer, we use a dedicated command held on the Home tab to generate the required transfer file. As can be seen, this process is very simple to use and allows for a range of different options which can be set. Once the file has been produced, we can check the status of the BIM transfer from within the Review tab. This shows with the colour coding that the model has been successfully exported and we can now move to the Revit software. Within Autodesk Revit, we can now import the file generated by the Tecla Structural Designer software. The process to do this is very straightforward and, as can be seen, automatically supports all of the section profiles held within the file. The import process is very fast and accurate. It generates the model with all of the elements and profiles that were contained within the Tecla Structural Designer model. Once the model has been imported, you can see that the geometry has been correctly generated and that no elements are missing. The created Revit model is an accurate representation of the analysis and design model. If we check the member properties for a given member, we can see that the profile and material has been correctly set, positions and rotations have been correctly set, and even user-defined attributes have been created by the import process. Concrete columns have parameters imported to suit the designed rebar requirements. Similar parameters can be viewed when viewing the properties of any given concrete beam. All of these attributes can be included within drawings or within generated schedules within the Revit software. Having viewed the imported information, we are now able to return to Tecla Structural Designer and make some alterations to our model. Back in Tecla Structural Designer, we have added two bracing members to the model. We have also adjusted the section size of all the steel bracing members to a much larger section size. With these changes made to the model, we can now choose to export the changes through to Autodesk Revit, again using the dedicated export command. We run through the wizard process, incrementing the file name of the exported file. This is done so that we don't override any previously exported information. And with this file generated, we can now return to the Revit software. Returning altered models to Revit is a very simple process. We use the same integrated application again, ensuring to perform an update to an existing model. Again, the integration shows no errors or missing content, allowing us to continue with the merge process. When we merge models together, we can view the changes within the automatically generated log file. This shows the changes made to the model, along with a list of statistics of additions and alterations made. Where alterations have been made, you can see these are listed in full along with an identification number, allowing us to easily verify the individual instance. In addition to being able to check the sections individually, we can also create views based on the integration status parameter. This allows us to easily identify new members, updated members and unchanged members through a simple colour coding. With this filtered view, we can see the newly created members as the green colouring, the updated members as the yellow colour, and the unchanged members as the magenta colour. We are now able to make some alterations inside Revit, and send these alterations into Tecla Structural Designer. We have now made some alterations to the Revit model, and you can see that we have adjusted the section size of two of the steel bracing members. The final change is to create an additional two roof bracing members before sending the updated model back to Tecla Structural Designer. The export process works in a very similar manner to the import process and is very simple to perform. We provide a new file name and then simply export the model. We can now swap to Tecla Structural Designer for the final merge process. To import the alterations into Tecla Structural Designer, we use the Structural BIM Import command. This allows us to perform the import whilst also controlling the items which are to be updated. 
In this process, we will choose not to move members which have been updated by the Revit software. This then gives us full control over the import and merge processes. Once the merge process has been completed, we can view actual changes in the status tree. We are able to read full details of the update, whilst also being able to double click on a message to find the affected element. If we access the review mode, we can use the BIM status command to check the colour coding of a model. Here we can see updated members shown in yellow, and members created by the merge process shown in dark blue. The remainder of the model is shown as a purple colouring, indicating that the members were not modified by the last import. The overall import and export process can then be continued, using the same methods as have already been shown. This then brings a close on our demonstration video. Thank you very much.